Welcome to 2.3 Solving Multi-Step Equations. We are going to split this lesson up into two days so that we can dive in a little bit deeper and take our time when going through the material. So day one, to solve two-step equations, form simpler equivalent equations. And the way that we're going to do that is use the following. Properties of equality, inverse operations, doing the opposite, and properties of real numbers. And we will do that until the variable is isolated. And remember, isolate just means get the variable by itself. Here's our first example. The first thing that we're going to do is see, oh, there are like terms in this example. I see a 5m and I see a 2m. So how about we get them right next to each other? And we can do that by the commutative property that we studied last chapter. So we're just trading places. The negative 23 and the 2m are just trading places, nothing else in that first step. Now the like terms are next to each other. 5m and 2m, what do you get when you add them? You get 7m. So we have 5 equals 7m minus 23. And now at this point, we are at a two-step equation. We just learned that in 2.2. So we're going to get rid of that minus 23 by adding 23 to both sides. The 23's cancel out on the right, that is just 0. 23 plus 5 is 28, and we have 7m. Now we're done down to a one-step equation. This is what we did in the first section of this chapter. All we need to do is get rid of that 7. There is multiplication happening between the 7 and the m, so we're going to divide by 7. The sevens go away, that's just one. M equals 20 divided by seven, which is four. So M equals four. And I'd just like to remind you of the checking process. What you wanna to do to check your answer is just to plug the four in for the M in both places. Example two. Martha takes her niece and nephew to a concert. She buys t-shirts and bumper stickers for them. The bumper stickers cost one dollar each. Martha's niece wants one shirt and four bumper stickers. And her nephew wants two shirts, but no bumper stickers. Martha's total is sixty-seven dollars. What is the cost of one shirt? Remember the question is always going to point you to the variable involved. They're looking for the cost of one shirt. So how about we define S equals cost of one shirt. Now how about let's do a little model and then we can write our equation right underneath. Let's focus in on the niece first. Um, Martha's niece wants a shirt and four stickers. And now, Martha's nephew wants two shirts, but no bumper sticker. And the total is going to be whatever that is combined. This will help us organize our given information and try to solve for the cost of one shirt. So now, let's repeat that. Niece is getting one shirt and four stickers. Well, we don't know the cost of a shirt, so we're going to write one S. One shirt. And then, the bumper stickers are a dollar each, so how much would four bumper st stickers cost? That would be four dollars. We're done with the niece. Now the nephew just wants two shirts and that would be 2s. Is always means equals, and Martha's total is $67. So there's our equation. Now do you see any like terms? I see a 1s and a 2s. What's 1s plus 2s? That's 3s. Bring down the plus 4 and bring down the equals 67. Take a look at what we're at right now. This is a two-step equation. Let's get rid of that plus 4 by subtracting 4. Now what is 67 minus 4? That's 63, one step more. We need to undo 
multiplication between the 3 and the S by dividing. Divide by 3, divide by 3, S equals 21. So that shirt is $21. Okay, we are done with that. Let's go on to example three. What is the solution of this equation? Now the title of the problem says we're going to be using the distributive property. We talked about this in chapter one, but let me remind you the distributive property means we're sharing the number in front with the numbers inside the parentheses. So draw yourself some arrows like that. And we're going to be multiplying. So we have negative eight times 2x and negative 8 times negative 1. And you can put parentheses around this first negative 8 if you like. Okay, so there's our setup. We just shared the negative 8 with each term. Now we need to multiply. Negative 8 times 2x is negative 16x. Negative 1 and negative 8 when you multiply you get a positive 8. Double negative means you're getting a positive number and equal to 36. Two-step equation again. Let's get rid of that positive 8 by subtracting 8. Negative 16x comes down. Now we have 28 on the right side. Let's divide both sides by negative 16. x equals negative 28 over 16. What do you think? Do you think that's the answer? Answer is, it is the answer, but it's not as simplified as possible. They're both evens, and actually the biggest number that goes into both is 4. So let's divide the top and the bottom by 4. This is called the simplifying or reducing process. Now we get negative 7 up top and 4 on the bottom, and that is the solution. Okay, that completes day one material. You can hold on for the lesson check until we do the material during class, or you can try it on your own.